Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we have the equation of a circle. I'm going to be asked what is the radius of circle P? So the way you find the radius of a circle given its equation is so first you have to get it into this form. x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Where h k is the center and that capital R is the radius. And you notice this is looking a little bit similar to this, but we still have to get it. Sorry, I put a square there. To get it in this form where there's two pairs being squared. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to, the way we're going to get to that is we're going to complete the square for x. We're going to complete the square for y. So on this side of the equation, we have x squared minus 6x plus some value. And that's going to be equal to x minus 8 squared plus y squared plus 8y plus another value, and this little triplet is going to turn into y minus k squared. This is going to be equal to negative 9, and to make sure both sides of the equation are still equal, we have to add what we added on this side to this side. So these are going to come in handy later, and then whatever this value is, is going to end up being the square of the radius. This, this is going to equal r squared. So how do we find these two things? Well, when you're, complete, when you're completing the square and there's a one coefficient in front of the square term, it makes it really easy to find out what this is going to be. What you have to do is you have to, you have to divide this value by 2, so negative 6 over 2, and square it. All right, same thing over here. Take this middle value, divide it by 2, and then square it. Just to show you what that looked like, um, what, what, says, what that's going to look like for converting this into that form. We can do that in a second. But remember, we have to add these two to both sides. So you have negative 6 over 2 squared, and then 8 over 2 squared. Again, this is going to be r squared, which is what we're looking for. We're looking for the radius. So you don't actually, when you're solving the problem, have to mess with this at all, um, since this is just going to be its own thing with the x's and h's and y's and k's. But I can just do this for the x's to show you that this is going to turn into uh, x minus h squared. So you have 1x squared is x squared minus 6x plus negative 6 divided by 2 is going to be negative 3 squared. This is going to be x squared minus 6x plus negative 3 squared is positive 9. And so how do we get this into this form? Well, you have to recognize this is the form x minus 3 times x minus 3 is x minus 3 squared. So that's what that would look like. Again, you don't have to worry about that because we're just finding the radius, which is on this side of the equation. So we have to find this value is equal. Make sure you can see that. This value is equal to r squared. So negative 9 plus negative 6 over 2 is negative 3 squared plus 8 over 2 is 4 squared. Doing this, we have negative 9 plus positive 9, negative 3 squared is positive 9, plus 16 is equal to, negative 9 plus 9 is 0, plus 16, that's just equal to 16. So r squared is equal to 16. What you can do here, solve for r, take the square root of both sides, easy enough. The square root of r squared is just r, that's why we're doing it in the first place. And then right here, we're going to be taking positive negative 4. So what does this actually mean? Do we have two answers? No. The radius of a circle is always going to be positive. Any physical length or volume or area, anything, always going to be positive. So r is just going to be 4. What is the radius of circle P? Final answer is going to be 4. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.